Okay. Let me say something before I get to my main topic. Okay. Is all of the information about this earth in books on this earth? If you are honest with yourself, you are going to say no. So everything that is of this earth are not in books on this earth. So many things of this earth is unknown. Okay, let me say this. Everything that is of the supernatural realm, is it in the Bible? Everything. Of course not. Imagine how large the Bible would have to be. How many volumes of the Bible there would have to be if the Bible had all the information of the supernatural realm. Now, let me say this. The Bible is good enough for you to get into heaven with. But <clears throat> the Bible does not have all the information. So to say that it does, you are lying to yourself or you just don't know. So let's say that there are people who have a very close relationship with God. You know, they pray often, they read the Bible often, they fast perhaps often. So they are seeking God and getting close to God. And let's say that there is a person who is always sinning. I guess they want to serve God, but they are not really putting forth an effort to do it. And how can that person, that lukewarm or that sinner, say to the person who is close to God, hey, what you are telling people that you are experiencing of God is not right because I don't see it in the Bible. <clears throat> How can that sinner tell that person that is close to God what is possible and what is not possible? That sinner or that sinner is still carnally minded meaning that we can't how can I say this we can't think in an earthly way when it comes down to God so the closer of a relationship the more you seek God, the more that you are going to experience of God. So if you are having so much trouble with sinning and you can't do the basic things of God, how can you say what is possible and what is not possible? So there are many things that are happening on this earth that we have no clue of. But as I stated earlier, the closer you get to God, the more that you are going to receive of him. So there are people who are having supernatural experiences that others may not have. So to say that, hey, what you are saying is false because the Bible speaks nothing of it, what you are saying when you say that is it really doesn't make any sense because we just talked about hey everything that is of this earth it is not in books so there is so much unknown information of this earth right so if I told you something that is happening on this earth that 
is unknown to most, how can you say that it is not true? If you have never seen an airplane before, but there is an airplane and I am telling you about it, how can you say that, no, since I never seen an airplane before, it does not exist? How can you say that? Because it obviously does exist, but because you have not seen it or experienced it, how can you say that it does not exist? You are speaking in ignorance. Okay. So I pray that we all understand this. So let me get to my main topic. Okay. Let's say that you are living for God and you are seeking God by reading your Bible more, which we all need to do, and uh, praying more and fasting often. Let's say that we are doing these things. Give me a second, please. So let's say that we are doing these things. Praying often, reading the Bible often, and fasting often. Okay. And let's say that we are praying for people. You know, we may pray for our sons, daughters, mother, father, uncle, aunt, so on and so on. And let's say that some of the people that we pray for are in sin. And when we begin to pray for them day after day after day after day, let's say that those sinners begin to act worse. And you may say to yourself, what is going on? Why are they acting worse? I am praying for them, and it seems like my prayers are not doing any good. What is going on? And let me say this, from my experiences and from what I have heard of others that pray, and that serve God from what when that happens when the sinners begin to act worse when you teach them about God and pray for them and stuff like that when they begin to act worse that means what you are doing is working Think about it. We are in a spiritual war with demons, right? Let me say this. In an earthly war, what happens when you attack an enemy? Chances are they are going to attack back, right? If you are beating down on an enemy's kingdom, what are they going to do back to you? They are going to fight back. So why are we surprised, even I, why are we surprised when we go out teaching and helping people and praying for people and some people begin to act worse? Why are we surprised about that? That should be a normal thing. I am not saying to be accepting of it, but we should not be surprised. Because if you fight against the kingdom of hell, why wouldn't they fight back? Think about that. If someone was breaking into your house, in many cases, you are going to do something to stop those people or person 
from breaking into your home, right? So why do we believe that things are different when we are teaching people about God and praying for them and making a difference? We think that we are not going to have any resistance. Why do we believe that? So when you get resistance, when you are praying for people and teaching people about God, that is normal. So if that person or people begin to act worse, that is normal. But what you should do is not give up. Don't get discouraged. Continue praying for them. Continue teaching them. Well, Kevin, you know, I don't really know much about the Bible. I don't know everything. Teach what you know. Show me anyone earthly that knows everything of the Bible. Show me. No one does. Even if you know a tiny bit, go around and teach that tiny bit. But make sure that you are not consistently sinning all the time. Make sure that you are repenting of your sins when you do something wrong. Always repent. Even in doubt, repent anyways. God, please forgive me of all my sins. Any sins that I don't know of, forgive me of it. If you have a person that does not like to repent or think that they never sin or stuff like that, they are usually one of the largest sinners because that is pride to to believe that you do everything right or you not in sin or or you never sin that is pride i don't have to repent because you know i don't know if i do anything wrong the closer you get to god the more that you are going to see how much you have to change <laughs> so the higher you go in God, the more that you see that you have to change. If you are honest with yourself. <laughs> Even I, I have to change a lot more myself in so many areas. I am not saying that I watch porn and and fight and curse. No, I don't do those things. No, but there are certain areas that I need to get better at. Does that make any sense? So I am not cursing people or stealing and doing this and doing that, but in order to reach more people, I need to improve in other areas. Does that make any sense? So to say that Hey, I am 100% perfect and I don't need to improve in anything. That is a lie. If anyone says that, they are lying. But at the same time, don't take that as, hey, this person is in great sin. For instance, people need to improve more in love. People need to improve more in patience. People need to improve more in the basic things. Does that make any sense? So I need to improve in more things as that. Because the more that you improve in love and patience and caring for people and stuff like that, I'm telling you, you are going to reach a lot more people. I pray that makes sense. So if the people or person that you are praying for acts worse, <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Continue fighting. Don't become discouraged. Don't stop fighting. Continue on. Makes sense, right? So I am not saying that you have to look towards like, hey, um, I have been praying for this person for a whole month and they have not been acting worse. So according to Kevin's video... <laughs> <laughs> if they act worse, that means it is working. So if they are not acting worse, what's going on? Not in every case. 
But if it does happen, that means what you are doing is working. Have you ever seen demons being cast out of people? Okay. Well, let me not go, let me not go there right now. Let me not go there. So I pray that you understand this. God bless.